If you need to attach a railing to concrete, you may want to consider using a wedge anchor. When fastening the concrete brick or block base material, a hammer drill must be used. Remember, always use eye and ear protection when using a hammer drill. The hole should be drilled one half inch deeper in the base material than the anchor will penetrate. The deeper the embedment of the anchor in the base material, the better the holding values. Wedge anchors are designed for use in solid concrete only. They should not be used in brick or block base material. The size of the hole to be drilled into the concrete is the same as the diameter of the anchor chosen for the application. The length of wedge anchor required is determined by adding the thickness of the material being fastened to the minimum embedment plus space for the nut and washer. The minimum embedment and space needed for the nut and washer are determined by the diameter of the anchor being used. First, the wedge anchor is inserted through the fixture and into the concrete. The nut is then turned clockwise, pulling the anchor up and moving the clip down, wedging the clip between the anchor itself and the concrete. When working in outdoor environments, stainless steel anchors should be used for increased rust resistance. If you are working indoors, zinc plated anchors should be sufficient. As a rule of thumb, the anchor should be spaced a minimum of 10 anchor diameters away from each other and no closer than 5 anchor diameters from an unsupported edge. We hope that this video has been helpful in choosing the correct concrete fastener for your application and that you consider us for your purchasing needs. Remember, we have the lowest price and have over 4 million concrete fasteners in stock and ready to ship to you the same day your order is received. ConcreteFasteners.com, your one source for concrete fasteners. It's been our business for over 20 years, and it's all we do. Buy your concrete fasteners from us.